So uh, today, uh, we experienced history in Corvallis, Oregon. <laughs> Well, the, the whole eclipse atmosphere was, uh, it was awesome. Um, you don't know what it is, you don't know how, what to expect, I guess, as you go through there. Um, and you experience the whole, from the start of it to the end of it. Um, it was great to be with the kids. I think me, just like them, we had no idea how special it was going to be. This being such a a significant event that taking place, especially in this in Corvallis, um, and having our coaches set up a time that we could all watch it as a team was was a great thought in mind. And um, you know, we we took it and we all were all outside and on the on the bleachers watching as this beautiful thing occurred. Kids were a little bit taken back, and I think everybody was when all of a sudden it's uh, dark out there <laughs> for those couple minutes. Oh! It's dark. You can't tell. Oh! Oh, you cannot oh, see it. Here, again, I say this all the time, at Oregon State, we're so lucky because we can really be around the students as a whole, we can be around the student athletes as a whole, and that leads to friendships, that leads to experiences such as today with the Eclipse that they'll remember for the rest of their lives. Well, the 50-yard line deal is a special event for our staff. Um, you know, to be able to be around our donors, um, our boosters, Beaver Nation, uh, we love to be in those environments. I couldn't be more proud. Well, it was, it was a, a great experience, you know, get to meet those people that are willing to take the time and money to invest in, uh, in making this place better for us kids and I want to thank them for all they have done and um, you know I got the chance to thank them you know at the dinner with uh, Brandon Arnold you know talked about you know how much the locker room has improved and how it can build a better relationship between us as a team. Ability to say thank you is genuine and I believe the boosters that were there uh, really understood that it is a genuine thank you. To be around them, spend a few hours and really for them to be able to get around our kids, it's great for our players to be around those people in that setting. He is the respect that they have for the facility. And again, I go back to it. They're grateful, they know they're blessed, and they do a dang good job of taking care of this facility, and it's a high importance for them. Well, this, this facility is a necessity if you want to compete in Pac-12 and in Power 5 football recruiting. You have to have nice things. And I say it all the time, and every kid I recruit, um, or we recruit as a staff, um, they deserve nice things. This is a football team that expects to win and has proven that they can win against very good teams and um, went to a bowl game last year, so it's a team that's picked to take second in their league and um, I'm sure they're positioning themselves to say that they, they expect that we'd be able to win their side of the league and get to that championship game. Definitely, we're going to have to set the tone and it starts in the trenches, not only us on the defensive line side, but also on the offensive line side. Tremendous challenge to going on the road and playing in a brand new stadium in a sold out environment where I know the fans are, are very good fans. Game week, baby. Uh. 
have to be able to throw the ball successfully on the offensive side of the ball. We have to be able to stop the run successfully on the defensive side of the ball. And we have to have special playmakers. Players make plays, players win games, and that's never going to change. And it's not going to change against Colorado State. It's not going to change against Portland State. It's not going to change against Minnesota. It's not going to change in the Pac-12. It's the same recipe. This is, this is going to be the year that starts this upward trend that we're going into. And Coach A done a great job on the third year, um, doing everything he can to make this program into a successful program. How do our young kids react in a hostile environment will be the key to game one.